Have you ever looked at your lab results and thought, wait, my B12 is perfect. And B12 is crucial for converting food into usable energy by helping your body metabolize carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So why do I feel like trash? Foggy brain, headaches, fatigue, and then boom, you get hit with this mysterious word, homocysteine. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on this overlooked marker that may be the missing piece in your carnivore or keto journey. And yes, even if you're doing everything right. So stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why your B12 test might be fooling you and what to do if your homocysteine is high, even on steak, butter, and eggs. If you've ever had a homocysteine test come back high or you've never heard of it, drop a comment below. I'd love to know who's tracking this in our community. Let's talk about this molecule, homocysteine. Sounds like a villain from a Marvel movie. And in some ways, it kinda is. Too much of it in your bloodstream is linked to heart disease, stroke, dementia, even pregnancy complications. It's not something you want hanging around in high amounts. But here's the catch. Most doctors don't test for it. And when they do, they glance at your B12, give you a thumbs up, and send you home. But what if I told you that's not the whole story? Let me tell you about Maya. Maya's 45 years old. She went carnivore to heal her gut, lose weight, and clear up brain fog. Three months in, she felt great. But then it hit. Daily headache, trouble, focusing, low energy that did match her new clean lifestyle. Labs came back almost perfect. B12, 900. Iron, beautiful. A1C, normal. But one marker stood out. Homocysteine was 24. Now that's actually high. And that's our clue. Let's go a level deeper. Homocysteine is a byproduct of breaking down methionine, an amino acid found predominantly in animal protein. Now, in a well-functioning body, this byproduct gets recycled into methionine again via the methylation pathway, or it gets turned into cystothionine, which helps your body make glutathione, your master antioxidant. But these pathways need helpers, methyl donors and cofactors, B12, folate, B6, choline, and TMJ, also known as trimethylglycine. If even one of those is missing, homocysteine gets stuck. And that's when the trouble brews, blood vessel damage, clotting, inflammation. And get this, your epigenetics, detox, immune system, and mood all depend on this cycle. Methylation isn't just a fancy word. It's foundational to your health. And here's the twist. Carnivore is loaded with methionine because animal protein is rich in it, but it's often low in folate, one of the key nutrients for detoxifying homocysteine. Where do we get folate? Leafy greens, not on carnivore. Liver, yes, but not everyone's eating it. Egg yolks, yep, choline and folate too. But let's be honest, most folks aren't doing true nose to tail. And if you're eating nothing but steak and salt, you might be missing the nutrients that make this cycle work. So yes, carnivore can raise homocysteine if you're not careful. Here's where it gets sneaky. Maya's B12 was 900. That sounds great, right? But serum B12 is just what's floating around in the blood. It tells you nothing about what your cells are actually using. You can have a sky high B12 level and still be functionally deficient. To really assess B12 function, we need MMA, which is methylmalonic acid. It goes up when cells aren't getting enough B12. Homocysteine goes up when methylation is impaired. And some people can't activate B12 due to genetic variation. You need methylcobalamin, the active form, not the cheap stuff like cyanocobalamin. So that normal B12 it could be lying to you. Want to get to the root? Ask your provider or order these tests yourself. Homocysteine, MMA, folate as 5-MTHF, B6, the PLP form, choline, and optionally MTHFR gene test, especially c 677 T variant. And if you've got that mutation, you need extra methylation support because your body's cycling system just isn't as efficient. Now for the fun part, fixing it. Here's a supplement strategy. B12, methylcobalamin or hydroxy B12, folate, methylfolate 5 MTHF, not folic acid, B6 as P5P, choline or TMG if you don't tolerate eggs, magnesium, 
which supports methylation reactions. If you want a shortcut, many brands make methylation support blends. But remember, gut health matters too. Low stomach acid, past antibiotic use, or autoimmune gut issues can interfere with nutrient absorption. If you're not absorbing B12, even great supplements may not work. So consider apple cider vinegar before meals, digestive enzymes, and if needed, short-term B12 injections or sublinguals. Don't want to rely on pills? Here's my carnivore compatible homocysteine toolkit. Liver, just one ounce a few times a week. Egg yolks, choline powerhouses, sardines and salmon, rich in B12, selenium, omega-3s, bone marrow and connective tissue. Glycine supports balance with methionine, beef heart, an overrated B vitamin and CoQ10 source. This isn't a one and done fix. Support your methylation daily. Retest homocysteine after eight to 12 weeks of implementing changes. Once levels normalize, you may want to cut back on supplements and rely on food, but still check yearly, especially if you eat high protein diet, have a family history of stroke or heart disease, experience fatigue, mood changes, or neurological symptoms. So can carnivore raise homocysteine? Yes, but not because carnivore is bad. It's because carnivore done without strategy can miss critical pieces. This isn't about fear. It's about root cause thinking. You're not just eating for satiety or simplicity. You're eating to fuel your biochemistry. You're not just managing symptoms. You're upgrading your cellular operating system. So if this video helped you understand your labs better, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's optimizing their diet. Drop a comment with your last homocysteine level or if you're planning to test it. And don't forget to watch this video right here on the screen or subscribe to my channel right here. This is Dr. Tony Hampton reminding you that healing begins when you stop guessing and start testing. I'll see you in the next one.